Hey guys, I saw many of your submissions to the your moon sketch. Uh, some of them were awesome, some of them were entertaining. Um, keep those coming in because uh, I think that closes tomorrow. Tonight would be another good night. In about an hour, the moon's going to come up and uh, it'll be nearly full, one day past full. So you might see just the one side started starting to lose it. Um, our moon is kind of interesting about uh, among moons. Now, lots of planets have moons. They tend to get more common as you get further from the sun. Mercury doesn't have any. Venus doesn't have any. We have the one. Uh, Mars has two, Phobos and Deimos. Jupiter has, I don't know, 60 or 70. The number keeps going up. The same with Saturn. I think Saturn actually has more moons than Jupiter now. Um, and uh, Uranus and Neptune each have a, a couple dozen. Uh, what One of the things that makes our moon unique First of all, they don't believe that it formed with the Earth. They believe it came later. It's called the collision theory. A Mars-sized object in the early solar system collided with the Earth at just the right angle. Might be what knocked the Earth onto that tilt. Um, and the, the outer layers kind of vaporized and made a ring around the Earth and then collected themselves into the moon. Um, there's there's quite a few observations about the Earth that that would it would make sense if that happened. There's some other ideas like the fission theory that it broke off from the Earth, um, that they were formed at the same time in the same place. And, you know, but the collision theory is the most widely accepted one at this point. Another thing that makes the Earth, the Moon a little bit weird is that it's big compared to the size of the planet. There are other moons that are much bigger than ours. Um, uh, Jupiter and Saturn have moons that are as big as Mercury. So it, it's not that it's so big, it's just that compared to the size of its parent planet, it's it's big. And, and because of that, the two are locked together in this dance. They're tidally locked, it's called, where as the moon goes around the Earth, it always shows the same side to the Earth. So uh, when Galileo looked up 400 years ago, he saw the same side you do today. In fact, no one had seen the backside of the moon until the Apollo astronauts orbited the moon. They, they went up there and, and landed eventually, but the, the first couple of missions just flew around uh, mapping it out and stuff. And uh, they, they were the first humans to see the backside of the moon. Nobody knew what was there until um, 1967. Um, and that's, that's pretty weird. I noticed in many of your drawings that you saw the mare, the, the darker colored areas. Originally, uh, they thought they were oceans because they look smooth. Now we know they're, they're lava flows. These are younger parts of the surface. The highlands are older parts. Um, there's impact basins, and there's one that's kind of cool. You can, even with uh, a small telescope, you can see uh, Coors Basin, where is that? You can see lines radiating out from it. Maybe it's this one. Lines radiating out. That doesn't look right. Oh, this one right here. You can see the lines radiating out. Um, and, and the more detail you look, there, there's craters inside craters inside craters. So there's a long evidence of, of it being impacted by debris in the solar system. You, you probably noticed that the side that faces the Earth didn't have as much debris hitting it because the earth would have protected it. Anything coming from that direction would have hit the earth. The earth got hit more than the moon. It's just that the earth has an atmosphere, we have oceans, we have plate tectonics that renew the surface, and, and we have weathering. So uh, we got hit just as many times, it's just there isn't the evidence like, like there is on the moon. You know, the first steps that the astronauts took on the moon they're still there. You could go up there and track the astronauts around the surface. These lava flows I mentioned, they're old. They're, they're the younger part of the surface, but they're still old. There's no evidence of any lava flowing on the surface of the moon within the last couple billion years. And they think that's partly because the, the moon is smaller, so it would have cooled off quicker. And whereas we have a a uh, solid crust, a uh, uh, pudding-like mantle, and then a liquid core, and then a solid core. Um, the moon is probably solid throughout. There won't be any more lava flows on the moon. There's, there's no plate tectonics 
Um, there are there are moonquakes, but it's caused more from the, the tugging of Earth's gravity than than uh, anything going on under the surface. So get out and see the moon tonight. Tomorrow I'm going to post a quiz in Skyward, and I'm going to post it twice. Uh, you can take it once as kind of a practice, or if you if you score well enough on it the first time, we'll, we'll just go with that one. But I'm also going to allow you to, to retake it. So I put it in there twice. You can retake it after you see how you did, and uh, I'll keep the better score. Whichever one you score highest on, we'll keep. I'm kind of using it as a kind of a practice to get into the uh, make sure everybody knows how to do those Skyward quizzes because that's going to be the, the next couple of months uh, we're going to be doing stuff like that. Um, okay, uh, enjoy your Easter break and uh, good luck on the quiz tomorrow.